Hello and welcome to our film mixologist. What I'm going to be doing on this episode today is I'm going to be building this um, Holy 4150 um, double pumper base plate, uh, which I don't think I've done. I don't remember if I've done one in the channel. But what I'm going to do in this particular video is I'm going to really take my time and go through it step by step. Uh, so I'm going to try and rig up two cameras uh, and, uh, and a whole lot of stuff. But I'll show you first what I've done before the video, so you know. So first of all, I got the throttle blades, and they were chemically blackened. So I used the, I used this as a process of restoration and to make sure they don't rust. Cleaned up all the shafts, obviously, and also I've kind of faced the 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 back of the. Of the, of the of the base plate so no it is quite shiny I mean it has a couple of marks but it, it doesn't matter it's gonna seal well because it's a straight surface so what now that I've done this I'm ready to do the throttle plates I'm gonna what I'm gonna try and do also is show you the process of trying to put those PTFE uh, bushings uh, Teflon bushings uh, what I do is I always buy them in like sheets and I cut them down to size so so you don't have to buy expensive or proprietary things. I just do this and they are 0 0.25 mil, which are slightly thinner than, than the holly ones. And so I use this to kind of seal the shafts properly in, in this sort of units that may have some kind of high mileage to them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna kind of rig up the two cameras and I'm gonna start kind of doing the filming kind of step by step. Okay, so so the first thing you do is you insert the uh, the primary throttle shaft. So here's the bit where I try to put the first Teflon bushing. And basically what you do is you try and put it like so. And what you need to do now is slightly, slightly massage the, the Teflon bushing so that it goes inside, especially this side. So you do it carefully. So now what I need to do is I need to put the other one, which this one is always kind of dead fiddly. So as you can see I'm getting nearly ready there and you basically you push it in yeah, so we have the primary shaft and we're gonna start with the process of uh, throw a blade so 172 Start by putting a couple of screws. So what I do sometimes is I get the screws and I back them out a bit and I let the throttle plate find its own level. 
So the next one, seven two. E. So now let's tackle this, uh, the, the, the secondary and remember you need to put always this um, this thing there, this spring there. So now we're getting ready for the first um, for the first bushing which is here and I'm going to try and put the second bushing here. Excellent. Perfect. So now one seven three. We're going to start with the last one. So now we're going to back off the screws a little bit and let the throttle plates find their own level, like so. And now we're going to screw them down again. So now the last thing we do is to install this, this spring. Look at that, sounds lovely. Okay, so I hope you got something out of it. Uh, the only thing that I did uh, kind of off camera, I put some Loctite 270 on the bolts here to secure them. 
Uh, so now they are nice and tight. And check, check the throttle action on this. It's beautiful, it's brilliant. So, so thank you very much for watching this episode. And if you've got any questions or comments, just put them down and I'll try to get through them uh, kind of as quickly as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.